we are joined in the Oklahomans video studios now with by Lisa Feist with OK Foster Wishes to tell us about an event that's happening tomorrow night, but also some of the other uh, organizational things that they do in the community and another event they have coming up. Lisa, thanks so much for stopping by today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. And let's start with OK Foster Wishes. Uh, tell me about the organization and the opportunities that you provide for the community. Um, we're in our 10th year. We're actually having um, quite a lot going on with celebrating our 10th year. Congratulations. So, thanks so much. Um, we, um, we're really excited. We started out as a just an organic effort inside. Um, I always make a joke that a DHS worker walked into a church one day, but I'll bump. <laughs> and, um, what would happen if the two <laughs> It really happened. And um, because of that, the community got engaged and started filling wish lists of kids in foster care. And so originally it started out with um, mostly talking about helping kids in uh, the rural areas. There's a lot of resources, although there's a lot of children in Oklahoma County and Tulsa County, there's a lot of resources there, but a lot of times the rural counties don't have that kind of support. And so that was how the initiative started. So you saw a need, hey, perhaps the urban core can handle it, but there's, there's other needs surrounding the urban core. Actually, yeah, and I wasn't even involved in the time. That was um, Trevor Williams and Karen Jacobs of OK DHS, Trevor Williams with Life Church. Um, but they just came together, gave the, showed the community the need, and they jumped in and filled thousands of wish lists in just one weekend. Um, over the years, it's um, grown to the, a statewide effort, and we now partner with DHS to receive wish lists of kids in foster care. Um, we ask people not to spend more than 50 to $75, and there's lots of issues around that. Um, a lot of times kids are in um, homes with other children and we need to make sure the foster parents or caregivers know kind of what to expect so that they can supplement either with their own biological kids having the same amounts or just so they know sure. what to expect. Well and that sets um, good guidelines too. Like, I don't know how much to give. Well, right. Here, here's, here's some parameters to and, stay with. And the wish lists are filled out by children so you'll have everything from I want a Barbie and some Legos to please give me an iPad. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because they ask for the same things that my kids ask for. Well, sure. So, Why wouldn't they? Yeah, exactly. And that's great. You got to support, serve, and connect with Oklahoma's children affected mm -hmm. by abuse, neglect, mm -hmm. and abandonment. The 10th anniversary, and you're celebrating this, I believe, tomorrow night over at the uh, Chesapeake Energy right. Boathouse. Uh, what? Um, in the past few years, we've had um, some great partnerships come on in the community through churches and businesses, um, different organizations, and of course, a lot of individuals. We've actually um, were quoted by um, former director of OKDHS, Howard Henrick, as being the largest volunteer effort in the state of Oklahoma. And we love that because well, it does something. engage uh, so many people and touches so many lives um, just through the whole process. So um, with that, um, we're celebrating our 10th year and um, we're gonna be doing a kickoff with our partner, one of our partners, OECU, um, Oklahoma Employees sure. Credit Union. They host a kickoff party for us every year, and uh, this year we're turning it into just a really big deal. We're going to do a winter whiteout party. We're calling it the Snowball, and um, we're going to have uh, cocktails and hors d'oeuvres, and Cammie Stinson is coming um, to perform. She's donating her time and talent, and um, she actually was uh, adopted from foster care as a baby and um, is going to share some of her songs and her story. Um, we also have been really fortunate she wrote a song recently that she's pledging to us and uh, any proceeds from that song will benefit OK Foster Wishes. So we're excited to be able to um, reveal that song at the event meet too. And a lot of us remember Cami Stimson. She was uh, certainly a player here in the Oklahoma City mu music scene. I believe she may be headed back our way soon. She's been working on some new material and a teacher over at ACM at UCO. So that'll be mm -hmm. a good highlight for tomorrow night. All white, huh? All white. What's well, really about all of us girls in our dresses? Let's just be clear <laughs> Let's on Let's be this. honest here. Let's be honest. So, yes, gentlemen are um, encouraged to wear gray suits, like gray something suit you have on, but maybe a white like tie, a white shirt. Um, we do have at least two to three tables of gentlemen who um, are wearing white tuxedo jackets. So going we're going to have, yeah, it's Oklahoma. You can of course. show up in boots, you can show up in a tux. <laughs> so. And the good thing is it is sold out, which speaks to a, the success that you guys. It is. We're really excited this morning. Um, we were tallying our numbers and actually had to shut down ticket sales. Um, we are maxed out and excited that the community wants to be a part of it and celebrate with us. Um, it's just a really great time. It's a great opportunity to engage in supporting kids in foster care, and it shows how much Oklahoma cares about kids in foster care. 
Well, people can still get engaged with you. You guys have another event coming up, the Christmas Crawl. We do. Um, Prodigal, this is our second year to be one of the beneficiaries of Prodigal's um, Christmas Crawl or OKC Crawl. Um, and it's a pub crawl in the Deep Deuce area on December 4th. And uh, I believe it starts around 6 o'clock. Um, but people can go to OKC.com, OKCCrawl.com and get more information and register for that. And perhaps most importantly, we need to go back to the wish list thing and how you can get involved at okfosterwishes.org or facebook.com slash okfosterwishes. Tell me about the wish list and then how people can you know, follow through with that. So in August, we send out a notice to um, all the caseworkers in the state and um, ask them to fill out to contact their children as they have to see them all monthly. And uh, we ask them to turn in list to us by December or October 28th. Um, they don't always make it in all the time, and sure. there is a fluctuation of kids coming in and out of care. So um, we do our best just to work together with them. We've created some systems to help expedite things. But what we end up receiving is um, on each wish list, there's a child's first name, last initial. Um, typically, it'll say what county they're in unless there's some kind of safety issue or privacy issue. Um, and then you get to see the two wishes of the child. So the really cool and powerful thing we found out about this wish list, yes, it meets a need in the community. It makes a child know they weren't forgotten on Christmas when they're facing one of the most difficult times That's in their life. That's huge right there. It supports the foster family and the caregivers. It gives the caseworkers a positive interaction <laughs> with the foster families and or yeah. the kids. So just so many positive things about it. Um, but one of the greatest things that we've seen and what we think has really led to the change of what's going on in Oklahoma or been part of the change um, is that it sparks people to see these kids as real kids because you're seeing it's not just a nameless faceless kid that the government's taking care of or in a bad situation all those stereotypes this is you know Sarah who's eight and loves Dora it's a kid being it's a, a kid. real yeah, child it's Christmas yeah. time and so and that's the other thing is we're although we can receive donations online and then we have a volunteer night that we all go spend that money and fill any wish lists that are unfulfilled but um, what we love is for people to actually request a wish list from us we send it to you through email you go shop for it and then we have different drop locations all over the city um, and all over the state that you can drop those off on great and you can find that online at okayfosterwishes.org yes there you go she's lisa foster lisa feist, lisa foster with, feist. With <laughs> <laughs> i could go with that <laughs> You suffice with OK Foster Wishes. Thank you, Dave. Congratulations on the 10 years. Have Thanks. fun tomorrow night and uh, with the Christmas crawl. And uh, happy holidays and best of luck with all this. Thank you very much.